my name is Nina Camplin and I'm here on behalf of the BBC Gallery today and we are um, going through with our, our theme of summer for the, uh, the month of August and today I'm going to paint a Pembrokeshire beach scene and uh, last year I was fortunate enough to be able to go out on a few uh, trips with the National Park that were put on for the VC Gallery and we visited quite um, a few of the national parks around the Pembrokeshire area. One of them was Angle. So this is what I'm going to paint today. Now um, I'm going to paint this using... I've just done a Zoom session where I've got a load of paint left over on my palette so I'm going to just use this up to start with and I've decided that I'm actually going to paint this using a palette knife today. And I'm going to start with the sky. This is cerulean blue and white and I'm going to just put it on with a palette knife just to ease up this paint. I'm just going to put a little bit of crimson in the sky up here. So I've just brought that down to about a third of the way down the page. And I'm going to put in this little bit of a lound in the, in the distance here. And I think I might use, I've got a bit of sap green here on the palette with a bit of burnt sienna. Just going to mix those together. And this is going to come out from that here. Actually, I've got a little bit of um, cerulean blue and a little bit of ultramarine and some more white. So I'm going to make it come uh, darker from the horizon. First of all, I want to bring that down a bit more. Put a bit of white on the horizon. Just to blend that in. I've got a bit better of a horizon line there. Okay, now I'm going to stop bringing in the sea. It's quite a narrow, quite a narrow um, depth of sea that you're um, actually seeing through there. I'm going to go with the ultramarine at the back. Now I'm going to put some cerulean in. Now, so that I get more of a kind of a, a horizontal feel to the, the sea, I'm going to just scrape the palette knife backwards and forwards. And go this way. And the sea comes all the way to the edge of the land here. When you're using a palette knife, you can be taking it off as much as you're putting it on. We've got a nice kind of sea effect going there. Right, I'm going to start putting this beach area in here. I've got quite a lot of um, yellow ochre on my palette here. And I'm going to use that with the white to make it quite pale. I'll just put a little bit of yellow in this as well, because I've just because I've got a lot of yellow here. I'm going back to white again. I'm going to put a load of white in the middle bit here. So 
So you can see what's happening here. When I when I scrape it, you're getting the ochre coming through from underneath, and then you can layer it back on again. And you can get all these kind of like streaky effects happening. Gives it a, a feeling of the 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 marks of the the sand, the marks the giving it a bit of distance. What I'm going to do now is I need to um, stop putting these rocks in. I just put out some some burnt umber and some. This is a, a deep violet here, and the, the rocks are really really dark in this area here. So I'm going to go in with the and mix the violet and the burnt umber together. And these come up right above the sea lines. So they start up here. I need to bring that sand higher. It needs to come up to about there. I'm also going to mix a little bit of the ultramarine into this um, umber. So I need to bring this across a bit further. Because these paints are still wet, it's picking up what's underneath, which kind of tones it down a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to stop putting these grasses in in the foreground. They've gone quite um, yellow in the middle here. So I'm going to start off by using a, a little bit of an impression of a shingle on the beach there. I'm just going to use up the rest of this dark underneath the grasses in this corner. So I'm just going to block it in. Following the, the movement of the grasses, they're all kind of going upwards, so my strokes are going to go upwards as well. I'm just going to start going in with some sap green and some um, lemon yellow here. Just adding some of the grasses in. I'm using more the edge of the palette knife this time to kind of get grass stroke effects. I'll just bring this to. Okay, I think I'm just about done on this one. I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, do this. If you want to join one of our Zoom sessions where I will actually go through the step by step with people, please do look on our events on um, the VC Gallery page and the Bright Side and book your ticket early because the spaces do get filled quite quickly. 
and if you do um, enjoy doing watching things like this and taking part in the VC gallery events please do give our page a like and share with your friends and I'll see you again next week bye